What's up YouTube, how are you? Kobanamu here with you once again. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'm wearing my Colombia soccer jersey today. Uh, a year ago I was in Cartagena, so I'm just sitting through this wintry lockdown reminiscing about what life was like 12 months ago. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create an automated trading robot with the TTM squeeze indicator in Think or Swim. Uh, the TTM Squeeze Indicator is one of my favorite uh, tools within I think, a Swim. Uh, it shows you how to identify periods of upward and downward price momentum, as well as periods of consolidation where there's little to no momentum either way. The robot I'll be showing you today will identify and buy shares when indications suggest that they're likely to break into positive price momentum, hold on to those shares as they ride that positive price momentum, and then sell once that momentum begins to slow. I'll also show you how to add stop losses to your trades. So just in case Godzilla attacks New York City and the stock market crashes, at least you'll manage your risk. This is an introductory video, uh, but look out for releases in the coming weeks where I show you how I add edge to my trading with the TTM squeeze indicator and maximize my average returns and make sure that my cash is utilized to the maximum at all times. Here we have the price chart for LULU. Uh, that's Lululemon. And I'll start by adding the TTM squeeze indicator to the bottom of this price chart. So in order to do that, you click study, edit studies, search for TTM squeeze in this bar on the left, double click, and then say OK. So the TTM squeeze looks at the relationship between Bollinger Bands and Keltner channels. Uh, and I've, ex I've included a link in the description of this video if you're interested in more detail uh, on that relationship. But I wanted to use this, this video to speak to the important elements of uh, what the TTM squeeze indicates. So the green part denotes when the stock is in a squeeze. And I know it may seem counterintuitive, but a squeeze is actually a period of intense price action. As you can see, during the parts of this chart that are green, the price is moving significantly. During the parts that are red, the price is flatter. Essentially, the TTM squeeze indicator details the momentum and volatility of a stock. So when momentum is negative and becoming increasingly negative, we see that in, this, in these red bars down here. And as you can see by the price chart uh, for Lululemon during this period, uh, its price is declining heavily. This was actually during the onset of the COVID pandemic in March. So you can see this heavy price decline. The yellow part indicates when momentum is negative but increasing. So as you can see here, momentum is beginning to pick up. And the light blue parts indicate that momentum is increasing. And you can see that here. And you can see the price action that corresponds to uh, this long chain of light blue bars. The dark blue bars indicate momentum is positive but decreasing. So that, that trend of positive momentum is coming to an end. And as you can see here, uh, this long price rally stops right around here. And you can see the bar shifting to dark blue. This red element is very important. And when we're creating the automated trading robot, uh, this will be the period of our buy condition. What the red part indicates is a period of consolidation. So as you can see, the price has swung up rapidly for a few months here, and then momentum slows and then it flattens before uh, accelerating again. So during this red part, after the price acceleration, buyers and sellers in the market have reached an equilibrium with the stock. In essence, they say, whoa, whoo, that price movement was intense. Are we overvalued now? Are we undervalued? Are we right on point? I don't even know at this point. And so as you can see, there's very little price action. 
as energy builds up towards another explosive move, either downward or upward, in this case, upward. And obviously, if, if you're going long on the stock, upward is what you want. And we'll set a buy trigger uh, to buy the stock at this point, ride the momentum upward, and then sell the stock as soon as the light blue becomes dark blue. So as soon as the positive momentum starts to decrease, that will constitute our sell trigger. So in order to get started doing this for Lululemon, press command click on a Mac. It's right click if you're using a PC. Buy custom. You want to buy with OCO bracket. So what we're going to do is set this condition so that it would only buy one stock of Lululemon uh, when the buy conditions are met and then sell 100% of Lululemon or sell that one stock. Again, the number of stocks is up to you, but I'm, I'm just doing one stock. Sell 100% when the selling conditions are met. So we have to change this indicator here. Currently it's in units. We want to change this to percent. So in order to do that, just click. And also when the stop loss is met, and the stop loss is very important, click here. So then when either the selling condition or the stop loss is met, 100% of your Lululemon shares will be sold. And of course, uh, there's the flexibility for you to play with this. Uh, you can sell 50%, 20%. Uh, at either condition, it's up to you. So we want our orders to be market orders. We want the robot to fill the order quickly, uh, but at the best possible price. And that would be the same for the sell order. So both would be market orders. And we want all of our triggers to be good till close instead of day, meaning that the weight condition will be in effect as long as it takes for the relevant conditions to be met. If it were just day, the weight conditions would be in effect till the end of the day, uh, and then they'd effectively uh, delete themselves. So good to close for the buy condition, good to close for the sell condition, good to, good to, I would say good to close, good to cancel for the stop loss. Now we want to set the conditions to buy. And of course, these will be conditions related to the TTM squeeze indicators and what they tell us. And this is the fun part. This is the interesting part. So the symbol, once you click symbol, will automatically bring up Lulu. For the method, we want to click study, edit, Okay, so once again, we click edit. And again, we want to buy the stock when it's in that red section. So in that section of consolidation. So in order to denote that, click here. We want to search for the TTM squeeze study. Look up study TTM squeeze and we want it to be false. Indicating that the study is false uh, just denotes that it's in a period of consolidation. Again, when the squeeze is true, that's indicated by the green and, and high momentum. So we want it to be false and then hit save. And then we want to add another condition Again, hit study, TTM squeeze. So this second condition will indicate that it started to pick up positive momentum. So it started to trend upward. And so we want TTM squeeze to be greater than, click value, zero.
So now we have our two back conditions and you can hit OK. Save. Now to enter our cell conditions. So click these cog, this cog here, symbol again, it will automatically bring up Lulu. Study, edit, So once again, we want to edit the study. So our cell conditions, again, we want to ride the momentum until the momentum starts to slow down. So once those light blue bars start to turn to dark blue bars, uh, and we can, we can set up our robot to sell immediately once it hits that dark blue bar point. First of all, we want to make sure that when the stock is sold, the price is in the squeeze. So in the period of high momentum, it's, it's beyond that period of consolidation. So in order to do that, we want to say TTM squeeze is true. And then we save that. We want to add one more condition. And this condition will communicate to the robot that uh, the TTM squeeze value today is less than it was yesterday. Essentially, that the momentum has sh just shifted from the light blue bars to the dark blue bar. So hit study. Again, look up TTM squeeze. And we want TTM one. So what this offset and the number indicated below represents is days ago. So this is essentially saying we want the TTM squeeze from one day ago, the TTM squeeze value from yesterday. And because we want to sell at the point where the TTM value has just started to decrease, we want the TTM squeeze value from yesterday to be greater than the TTM squeeze value for today. So select condition, of course, study, squeeze, and then this should be zero. Again, indicating that the stock has risen uh, during that period of positive momentum, and that positive momentum is starting to slow down. So at that point, of course, you'd want to claim your profits, sell the stock, and reallocate that money to uh, another stock that you believe is just picking up positive momentum. So hit save. Okay. Save. And now for the stop loss, and again, this is the most important point. I feel like there are a lot of YouTubers trying to get uh, their followers to buy out of the money calls with no protection. Um, it's just, it's crazy. Just the, the brazenness that all of these YouTubers are trying to convince their followers to have with little to no risk management at all. And it's, it's great. It's exciting, but when it goes bad, it'll go really bad for everyone. Uh, and any great investor or trader will tell you that including Disciplined risk management in every trade is the key to success in trading, to consistent success. So I usually set the stop loss at between 5 and 10%. Uh, so clicking stop and then stop again will allow you to change the percentage. So click this icon here. and then percentage, and then again, I would do maybe 10%, meaning that if you purchase the stock and its price falls 10%, uh, it will automatically sell if it hasn't already hit that stop condition that we've set. Confirm, and then send, and your order is placed. And so when that criteria is hit, uh, whenever that may be for Lululemon, it will purchase the stock and then proceed to sell the stock 
when either the stop loss or, of course, ideally, the selling condition is met. And so obviously, once this is done, you don't need to spend your time looking at price charts, tracking price movements. So obviously, once this is done, you don't need to spend your time tracking price charts, tracking price movements. The functionality within Thinkorswim will do all of that for you and buy and sell automatically once your predetermined conditions are set. As you can tell, trading this way may not be ideal at all times. It may take weeks, months for Lululemon to meet your buying criteria, uh, but stay tuned for future videos in which I show you how you can use Thinkorswim's tools to identify all the stocks, the entire universe of stocks that meet your criteria right now so that you can buy immediately and ensure that your cash is fully utilized and working for you at all times. Thank you once again. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope it will prove as useful to you as it proved to me. And I hope to see you very soon. Take care. Si es que acaso le quieres ver